What's going on, y'all? You know who it is. Mr. Warmack, a.k.a. Low Rent, a.k.a. The Ignorant American, a.k.a. The Truth As You Know It, a.k.a. Dirty Business, a.k.a. The Jet Jaguar of YouTube. What's going on, folks? You know who it is. So uh, check me out on all the, uh, the social media sites, especially check me on Instagram, because up on Instagram, I upload my gym pictures, like uh, me at the gym, working out, doing this and that, you know how it is. So today I'm going to talk about the latest development, well not the latest, I'm going to talk, give an overall take on the, this situation in 3, 2, uno. Boom! I'm going to talk about the Ferguson, Missouri situation. Now, a young man, 16 years old, I think, was killed by a cop. He was, they say they're making an unarmed man. But what kills me is the media, both sides of the media, the conservative media and the liberal media, they're making it... They're, they, they're put, if you watch the media, they're putting an emphasis on race, the race part. Like if you, well, if you watch the news in general, they do this. But uh, whenever you, I watch the news about this, they say an unarmed black. They'll, they'll emphasize the race. Black teenager was shot by a white cop. They'll, they'll, they'll say stuff like that. And uh, I don't know the situation. I, I've seen reports of it. I've heard the, what the witness had to say. And I just want to say is I'm, I'm waiting to give him, I mean, first of all, nobody deserves to be shot 11 times. I mean, that officer had to be, had to be pretty weak if that was the case. You know, I mean, I'm, like I said, I can't rush to judgment. I have to see what the facts are at hand. I have to see what's going on. I mean, me personally, I have a severe mistr mistr mis uh, how I say it? mistrust of the police overall. Now, that being said, I know for a fact there are very good officers who protect the community, who protect the citizens, and do a, a hell of a job on their part. It's the crooked officers that we all know that are in there, and unfortunately, and here's what always got me. I had a talk one time. I was sitting at a restaurant, and these kids were talking. This one kid had a stop snitching shirt. This was years ago. And this one officer came over and said, so well, why do you guys you know, have the shirt? And he was trying to talk to them and explain about stop snitching. And I was like, hey, man, I said, I said, unfortunately, the stops, like, like, whether you agree with the stop snitching or not, I said, the police have the stop snitching, too. He goes, oh, we do. He said, what is it? And I said, you guys have the thin blue line, and rarely do you guys cross it. I said, there's, there's, there's thousands of innocent guys that are in prison right now, and all it took is that one guy to come out. I mean, you, got, you guys won't cross that thin blue line. Why should they, we cross that stop snitching? But that's another conversation for another day. If you guys want me to get into it, email me. I'll talk about it. But I'm talking about what uh, Ferguson right here. Now, like I said, there was a young black male who was killed uh, by a cop. White cop, like the media says. Me, personally, I take a look at it as I got to get, like I said, I, I got to get all the information. Now, what I don't like is, what, like you see this picture is here, right here. I don't like the fact that all this rioting and looting in your own neighborhood I don't see that. That does not serve a purpose. I understand you're frustrated. I understand you're mad. I understand this. I understand that. But the fact remains is there's a quote I was always taught. You don't shit where you lay your head. And right now, everybody's taking a lot of shits where they lay their head. Now, the Brown family has called for peace. The Brown family doesn't wish none of this. Matter of fact, where the store where, um, I guess, allegedly he robbed somebody that was looted. And the family went in there and helped clean that store up. But the community over there, now there, I, know, I know there's a lot of folks that are rebel rousers just jumping in. That's where it comes to like the, a lot of older guys. There are a lot of captains and a lot of sergeants, a lot of generals. Now, here are you guys talking about your street generals. If you were a street general, you should be cleaning this and say, hey, man, you need, you, know, you need you guys need to talk and have some accountability. But the problem I have also is you see these race baiting pimps. You know, you got Jesse Jackson, come holla. I'll, if you give me a dollar, I'll come holla. And you got Al Sharpton, the Raton. They're down there, and I'm like the people who don't want them down there anymore. And the fact, the fact of the matter is, it's a new day and age, and these old crusty dudes don't understand that. You know, about the only person that does understand, because he surrounds himself with young guys as far as the debates and talks and all this Farrakhan. Sharpton will not. I, I, let's, let me put it this way: if, Sharp, if there's a situation, any part of well, the parts where I'm from, it's got to the point where it's a racial thing. And I'd step in. I would tell people I'm not going to be there with that dude. That dude is, is, is disingenuous. And so is Jesse Jackson. Because let me tell you this. Chicago is like Rome. It's burning. 
and where these two, where these two, these two dudes are. These two dudes are in Missouri. Chicago is getting the National Guard running. And, and by the way, I, FYI, I called that, and everybody called me crazy for calling that. Everybody said, "Oh, they're not going to send the National Guard." I called them sending the National Guard, and which finally, Abraham Emmanuel has done. But back to the lecture at hand. Now the Ferguson deal, it's it's, it's another case of, like I said, now everybody's going to make comparisons to Trayvon Martin. And like it's been, it's 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 sad because we're still Americans, but the long as long even though we're just Americans, there's still race is one of the worst topics. I mean, you could be a homosexual; it doesn't matter no more. You know that used to be pretty bad, but race is one of the worst topics that divide America that like nobody feels comfortable talking about. Everybody knows it's there, but nobody wants to feel comfortable talking about it. You wonder why? Because it's not comfortable talking about it. Like I said, like back in the day, me and my friends would talk about our race. We would, we would joke about it because like, we were cool. But not a lot of people can do that. And a lot of people who you think are cool take it to the extreme. But back to what I'm talking about, Ferguson. Now, first of all, you should not be looting. You know, and, and, and you, what you should have done was you should have got all the facts in hand. Now, now I'm not from Ferguson. Like, it was from another town. For all I know, that cop could have a history of doing this for black people. For all I know, the cop could this. I don't know. Like I said, I, for all I know, the kid reached for the cop's gun. I don't know the situation. That's why I'm not going to comment on that situation. I'm commenting on the looting and, uh, and the looting and the race baiters that are down there right now. That you shouldn't, you shouldn't fall for. Them. You should like when they when they were booing. What's his name, Sharpton? That was to me. That was a good sign. But now it's the time that like a lot of us younger guys, compared to the younger guys, compared to them guys. That we we're all stepping up now, and I think a lot of these cats don't understand this. It's we're we're not asking no more. We're telling you, we're going to do this our own. It's it's lead. It's lead. It's, you have three choices: lead, follow, or get out of the way. And right now, and lead's not an option. So it's up to you guys. But please, the people of Ferguson, I, I I'll pray for you guys. It's just to find peace and peace, my fault. Peace and find a solution. Looting your own neighborhood is not the way to go. You could demonstrate more, and and not that I'm endorsing looting, but if you're going to loot, why would you loot your own neighborhood? Go where the good shit is. I'm out. Peace.